Taking a distinctly American approach to development means we should focus more on individual empowerment, both in terms of giving our staff the flexibility to be development entrepreneurs and finding the entrepreneurs out there that will be the next generation uh, of those that were invited just a few weeks ago or last week to come to Washington for the President's Entrepreneurship Summit. It means we should focus on private enterprise and the, private and the power of markets and use in an even more expansive way many of the tools we've pioneered. The Development Credit Authority at USAID, our oversee the OPIC and other investment vehicles we have to promote uh, U.S. investment abroad and, and foreign direct investment in countries that we prioritize. It also means that we need to demand governance, good governance, performance, and accountability from the public institutions in the countries we serve. America's own experience of democratic improvement should inspire our partners. President Obama, at his commencement speech at the University of Michigan, recently reminded us that our audacious experiment in government by the people has endured and improved for more than two centuries and does provide a powerful example for countries striving to follow a similar path. As many of you know, I suspect as all of you know, the Obama administration is close to putting in place an overarching development policy. I suspect some of you might have read the draft. <laughs> And this development policy would, in fact, limit and focus our, uh, our goals and our aspirations so that we can most effectively achieve them. This effort will help set our priorities and will, uh, will really come to define nearly all of what we do at USAID. In four core areas, we're already putting a new approach into practice. First, we're honoring our commitment to the Millennium Development Goals, not simply by delivering services to those in need, but by trying to build sustainable systems that will transform healthcare, food security, and other uh, parts of the MDGs going forward so that more people, tens of millions of children, will have the chance to lead healthy and productive lives. Second, we're strengthening our ability to invest in country-owned models of inclusive growth and development success. Third, we are finding new ways to leverage science and technology to develop and deliver those tools and innovations that we think can be transformational. And finally, we need to continue to bring USAID's ex expertise to bear on some of the most daunting national security challenges we face as a nation. Sites of active conflict like Afghanistan, 